Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, for the given NMOS amplifier, we have been given that when the bias current is equal to 100 microampere, then the intrinsic gain of this amplifier is equal to 80. Now if this bias current is reduced to 25 microampere, then at that time, we have been asked to find the new intrinsic gain. So first of all, we should be aware about the relationship between the intrinsic gain and the drain current. So if you have followed the recent video on the main channel, then you must be aware that for the amplifier, this intrinsic gain A0 can be given as Gm times R0, where this Gm is the trans conductance and this R0 is the output impedance of this MOSFET. So as you are aware, this trans conductance Gm can be given as square root of 2 times id times mu n times cox times w divided by l and this r0 can be given as 1 divided by lambda times id that means gm times r0 or this intrinsic gain is equal to square root of 2 times id times mu n times cox times w divided by l times 1 divided by lambda times id. Now for the given MOSFET, these device parameters will remain same. That means we can say that this intrinsic gain is proportional to 1 over square root of id. So let's say whenever the bias current is equal to 100 microampere, then this intrinsic gain is equal to A01. And at that time, this bias current is equal to id1 and whenever this bias current becomes 25 microampere then let's say this intrinsic gain is equal to a02 so we can say that this a02 divided by a01 is equal to square root of id1 divided by square root of id2 that means a02 is equal to square root of id1 divided by id2 times a01. Now this id1 is equal to 100 microampere while the new bias current is equal to 25 microampere and we have been given that when the bias current is equal to 100 microampere then this a01 or this intrinsic gain is equal to 80. That means whenever this bias current is equal to 25 microampere then this new intrinsic gain will be equal to 80 times square root of 4 that is equal to 160. That means as the bias current becomes 1 by 4 then this intrinsic gain will become double. That means from this we can say that for the bias current of 25 microampere this new intrinsic gain will be equal to 160. 